Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Moiko large upgraded pet or dog pooper scooper set uh, tri rig and a spade is listed currently for $28 on Amazon that's something which just I think recently came out maybe it has been on the market for a longer time but uh, yeah I haven't seen that that we can get such cheap sets for everything but it can also be used for other things than dogs maybe if you have just uh, normal things like leaves and other things in your yard or backyard and you need to pick them up doesn't have to be nasty stuff can also really be normal stuff uh, it's a combination of a lot of things uh, you get a huge set with this glove so I have to check the on the size I would say I have about medium size so yeah it's rather small it's not super small just fits I would say for medium size for larger size and yeah for larger man I would say it's probably uh, rather on the small side so yeah the question is is it a cheap thing or is it just uh, like a toy and a scam and uh, so the parts are not really huge I mean when we compare to things which we buy usually Home Depot, Lowe's or so I would say these things are rather small you can use them of course uh, looks like real metal so you can yes it's not super sturdy you can see you can bend it easily but um, yeah, it's like normal I would say about yeah nothing really special the uh, question is how long will it last and outside when you leave it outside in the rain and humidity and so on but uh, it's not too expensive so uh, yeah you can see this thing is really helpful when you have to pick something up really straight from the bottom you have like pavers or something like that you can use that easily so our neighbor's cat sometimes uh, leaves uh, rats and mice in our driveway and I have to scratch them <laughs> off yeah, maybe this could help them and um, yeah but the shovel I really like the shovel this could be something really nice for picking up a lot of leaves and it's really huge I mean it's uh, basically the bigger thing and it has some really nice walls on the side and on the back and I think this could be really good to pick up a lot of leaves which I have a lot with our tree so it's important yeah, I have seen just the just now this is for rake this is for the spade and this is for the tray so probably you shouldn't mix these things but I don't see a huge difference I think uh, there's no uh, difference in diameter maybe just a little bit regarding the length so here I'm going to show you uh, the connection uh, with a sample of the rake here so here we have this thing so this is how it looks yeah the wall is rather thin it's not really thick but I think it's a good material it's a uh, decent so when you have it in your hand you think yeah okay it's not going to break too easily and the diameter is the same for every piece so that's the good thing so you can combine the handle of the rake with the scraper or the shovel or anything you can make it even shorter or longer I mean you can see that's the very end uh, yeah and you can put it directly at the uh, thing at the tool so you can uh, do it uh, yeah you can make it like a size which fits for children or uh, large adults or that's really convenient and you can totally mix everything with everything and I have tried already in full length and it makes a good impression here but I put everything together and use it outside so see how it uh, does in real life so I'll move over a little bit to this side to have more space and yeah I have to correct me a little bit so in general we can say it has I mean when we have this pole here there's a, a start and an end even though you can really mix most of these things here I mean you can see that's the handle that's the very end you can easily put it here that works I've already done this but actually there's a real end because it has a cap here so usually the part is only for every uh, part there's a one uh, part we uh, I mean one piece 
with the handle and there's one piece with the end and the other piece is of course then the middle part. So to put the things together is not super easy but also not super difficult. It maybe it could happen that you put the wrong things together and you have to take uh, it out or apart again and ha you, you have to redo but it's just uh, it still even if you do some errors it's still doable in a 10 minute thing or so so everything looks really sturdy the good thing is since we have this thing and uh, like these buttons here and do not just push uh, them together we can even like turn this thing you can see so we can easily we have quite some power to turn these things around if you need so yeah it's quite good so far so how does it work with this hole the sort of mounts here so we have the shovel here that's the most stable part and the idea is put these things uh, or attach it to the middle part I mean in the picture it was described to be at the very end so this is also what I do so we have to push this thing inside I mean not the open part but the, the closed part so we push that here as well so we have these two mounts here for the other things so we push this back okay and now we can actually attach these things to the side so maybe something like that put this here and put this maybe here something like that and then you have uh, like a nice stand you can put this here yeah, now I, I need uh, to move the camera a little bit but I, I think you get the point what we can do here okay, so here we are outside everything ready to use everything uh, assembled nice clean properly done yeah looking really good so let's go and try it out yeah, you can just pull it out whatever you need and then uh, yeah of course it doesn't have a stand anymore whatever you don't need uh, but uh, the rest looks really good really sturdy I mean this is not just leaves this is heavy stuff like heavy seeds and hasn't been any problem to use here really nice I've been uh, able to put a lot of pressure fortunately the camera turned always down camera is a little bit too heavy for the mount so it always turned down yeah and here a little bit in the back so I even tried to remove some weeds from the papers and uh, it, it worked a little bit unfortunately yeah camera came down you can't see what I did but I guess you get the point what I was doing here and I was really pushing pretty hard and uh, yeah it hasn't been damaged I mean we can forward a little bit and see yeah here as well yeah you see I'm really pushing really hard and now you can see uh, the shovel or this uh, thing here is still looking pretty good I think it's pretty sturdy but yeah it's it, it has some limits of course uh, I wouldn't do this the whole day I mean it's not a professional tool you can use it for a lot but it's not something uh, yeah it's not a professional tool not something which you use the whole day of course but you can really do a lot I mean especially with leaves and loose items and you can use either the rake here or this tool here so yeah it works pretty good you can see uh, it's always good to have two of the tools and uh, keep the stuff like the leaves together or uh, the weeds or whatever you have but uh, it would also uh, it wouldn't be a problem just to use the shovel yeah, scraper yeah I mean it has its limitations of course but you can do a lot you can also use it to like, like as a shovel yeah a little bit yeah here again a little bit more you can see you can really take a lot here and here the last video I was using the rake and uh, yeah you can see it here after that I think it turned down a little bit the camera but you can see I even pulled with both hands and uh, it, it hasn't been damaged or so I've really been able to go through the full weeds everything full of uh, everything here even uh, some snake skin I think maybe we can see that here 
Yeah, everything. I was uh, really harsh to the thing. I uh, didn't want to just uh, use it as a toy. I mean, I was really using it as something which you really use in the backyard and do something and it was really doing a good job. You can see here a really huge amount, huge pile of weeds and leaf and dirt and everything and you can really fill it up and uh, yeah, use it nicely here. So has been working really good for me. So I'm stopping this here and uh, yeah, I will definitely give full recommendation on that and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can uh, check it out and order it right from there if you like it. For me it really works. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel, thanks for watching and see you next time.